In this video, we're going to be using Seaforth C Ice Lime and the Apollo Light Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, I wanted to talk to you a minute about our sponsor, Leaf. Leaf is a great sponsor of this channel, and you know me. I love the Leaf Razor. I love the twig. And if you'd like 5% off your order, use discount code IMCDB. And thanks so much to Leaf for supporting the channel. All right. Today, we are treating ourselves to a shave with... Uh, Seaforth Sea Ice Lime. Sea Ice Lime's got a little bit of cooling in it. Terrific scent. And this was sort of a special edition that was up maybe three weeks or a month ago. It's $39 for seven ounces, at least seven ounces. And on our cost chart there, $5.57 an ounce, which is pricey. But for me, it was totally worth it because I love the scent of the soap. It's spectacular. And I love the cooling too. I'll put the scent notes for you on the screen right there. To me, it's just a nice, brisk, citrusy scent salty uh it's it's just tremendous you get lime bergamot sea spray coriander pink pepper oak moss beautiful and this is in uh seaforth one of their uh tallow bases i'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there very good soap very very good scent and we look forward to using that today the razor is the Apollo Light Razor, which is made in Ukraine. One of my favorite razors, and in my opinion, one of the best razors in the world. Sadly, right now you can't get it because of what's going on in Ukraine, but hopefully at some point you'll be able to get these again because this is just a spectacular shaver. It's the fit and finish is almost second to none. The way it shaves, just incredible. I absolutely love it. So today we're treating ourselves a little bit. Let me set this sea ice line to the side. And then we're going to mix up our lather just a little bit and we'll see what we're working with here today. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Let me start by misting the face though. We need to do that. Need to get some hydration going here. All right. Yeah. Sort of just treating myself today. Just having a nice shave that I knew that I would enjoy. And again, the, the cooling on some of these. Now this one doesn't have menthol. It has that synthetic cooling agent. And for me, you don't always feel it right away. It takes a little bit. And fortunately, because DK has spoken to this, and it happens with me sometimes too, sometimes the synthetic cooling agent doesn't feel like cooling to me. It feels like a prickly sort of feeling. But this one, fortunately, did I did get some cooling, like when I was into my second pass with it. So that is awesome. Very, very good indeed. And we didn't make a ton of lather this morning because we really don't need to but we made enough to get a really nice shave and that's just what we're gonna do today. All right, that is good enough. Let's set that aside and let's rinse the razor and get going. Again, I hope everybody is well today. There we go, brand new uh, Gillette Nasset blade in here, by the way. And that just feels spectacular. I love this razor. I just wish more people were able to try it, but for obvious reasons right now, probably can't get it. The website is still up, but I'm not sure they're able to do any fulfillment. Um, and if they are, that would be great. But you know, I, I don't think they are, but i tell you what, just tremendous shaver. I have used many, many razors over the years, including, you know, some of the best in the world and the best in the world, according to some people, Wolfman, others, I prefer this one to tell you the truth. Um, I owned two Wolfman razors and they are spectacular in fit and finish and craftsmanship. But this razor, where the rubber meets the road for me, which is the shave itself, is best I can remember because I don't have those Wolfman razors anymore. Because for me, it was more about, those razors were more about sort of the uh, allure of just owning one than the actual razor, you know, the being great. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not a great razor because it is, but at least at the time, the razors were not superior shavers to other things. Once I tried more and more things, because obviously when I first got them, you know, I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever gotten. And then as time went on and I tried more and more razors, you know, and I kept trying and trying and trying, I realized that great razor, but not necessarily better than many of the others. And so... For that reason, I moved them along. Um, at least one of them went for charity. I raised money for a charity. And the other I may have traded, I can't remember. But either way, this particular razor, the Apollo Light Razor by Smart Helix, 
um, is, is maybe the best razor I've ever used. Um, it just feels right to me. It's a good fit for me. Now, it may not be for you, obviously, but everything that this, everything about it. So starts out with one plate at 175, which is just in that premium range, but the fit and finish is just extremely good. I have the two line plate, which is the more efficient and it's, it's got plenty of efficiency, but it still feels very, very smooth feels like a marble rolling on a glass. And that's why for me, this might be the best razor I've ever used because it's the smoothest while still being nice and efficient. And they do have with the Apollo light version, two plate offerings, a one light plate, which is a little less efficient than this one. And I tend to gravitate to a little more efficiency. Now the soap here today, as you might expect, fantastic. I'm just loving this scent. And if you saw the unboxing yesterday, I have to say, I had a disappointment because initially when I smelled the Zaharoff, uh, what was it, citrine, um, I got the citrus and it smelled kind of nice, but the dried down, I got sort of a musky vibe from it, which I really did not enjoy that much. So my first and perhaps only frag unboxing might end up being a bust. Maybe I'll try to use it again and spray it on, but the way it dried down um, after, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, Right after I got off the video, I started smelling it on my hand. I was like, it might not be for me. And so that's kind of disappointing. I was thinking what I would be getting would be like the original Zah Zaharoff with like a burst of citrus in it. And that sounded great, but it's more to my nose, the way it dried down on me, my body chemistry was musky and it wasn't, um, it, it wasn't, I didn't like it once it dried down, uh, during the unboxing. It's great. So that's one thing to remember folks, just because you like something when you spray it in the air or just spray it on your clothes, initially the way it dries down might be completely different and it dries down differently for me. And it wasn't, I didn't get as much citrus. I got more of a musky earthy something that I didn't really care for. And so that one, sadly, which is uh, right here, it's still sitting here, the way it dried down, I didn't really like. And so uh, that, that puts an end to my, not so budding fragrance career probably don't get me wrong i do own a number of fragrances but um you know the fragrances that i'm familiar with aqua de parma calvin klein sauna and so forth many others as well but this one went on dry down i didn't like it so that's a bummer but you know you can't win them all i thought for sure it would be a home run like this razor and this scent this scent is spectacular in fact I thought about buying over again the C Spice Lime Toner and EDT, but since I already own it, you know, it's at home, I was like, ah, I'm not going to do that. But I kind of wanted something more like that from the, <laughs> the Zaharoff. Um, but when it comes down to it, I think the C Spice Lime, if you're looking for a citrusy type fragrance, get the C Spice Lime uh, EDT. It is orders of magnitude, in my opinion, better than the Zaharoff fragrance. Um, it's just way better, <laughs> at least for me, it may not be for you. Now this razor, again, fantastic soap. I'm getting the cooling now, which is nice. A little bit of cooling. It's not, it's not, this is not a face freezer, the sea ice lime, but it is cool. And I do believe Dennis at Spearhead said he was going to make more when time permitted. So, um, I don't know when that'll be, if it'll be in the next few months. I know it will not be in the next few weeks, according to what he said, but perhaps maybe in the next few months, maybe, you know, during the summer season or something like that. We hope because more people should, <laughs> I think I know more people wanted this and I think he just probably has to get the, the mugs and whatever, you know, supplies to, to make it. It is very cool. Very enjoyable. And, and the shave like today, I just, I can enjoy myself and just talk and and just have fun and that's really what it's all about. Remember, life is short. Folks today go out there and shoot someone a smile and you know try to make someone happy. You know. That's what I try to do. I don't always succeed, of course. And I you know, I have a lot of faults in my own life. I'm imperfect and we all are. But I'm certainly trying to do the very best I can under the conditions 
And I have realized lately that, you know, look, we're, we're not getting any younger. I'm in my 50s and, you know, I need to be enjoying every single day. And I hope you will join me in that. Make a commitment to yourself to enjoy every single day. And while you're enjoying yourself, make sure you're lifting someone else up as well, you know. And I do realize not everything's a bed of roses. You know, you got the thorns in there too, but um, try your best to make the best of it. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I decided to use this today just to enjoy myself. And, you know, I've been making pretty good progress on trying to get healthier and drop, dropping some weight. Many people have noticed. Thank you. Appreciate that. So I've been making some good progress. I've been nice and disciplined there. So we're just working to try to get healthier so we can be here longer and do this longer and share our love for this hobby. And for me, what it is about and what it has always been about is how many new people can we reach and bring them in. I love all of you who are here. You, you are my people, but we need new people all the time. It's not just up to us to keep buying this stuff over and over and over. We need new people to come in and also spread the word and go, hey, you can make shaving something fun. You can meet a lot of nice people. You can meet people who will become your lifelong friends, perhaps, like mine. Uh, look at look at what's happened with me. So many people have helped me and helped the family. It's just, I tell you, you, you can't beat it. It's And so that's my goal. Spread the hobby, grow it. Uh, that's my, always my primary goal. And, um, you know, I am always very thankful to the artisans who helped me do that by keeping their prices, you know, at a reasonable level. And the ones who aren't, I'm not going to mess with. It's that simple. <laughs> that they have short-term vision. They don't have a growth mindset. They're like, let me get the most I can get out of every product I sell versus let me keep this reasonable so more people will come in. Because it's hard for somebody to, it's hard for me to explain to a new person why they need to buy a $38 soap that's four ounces, honestly. Um, it's very hard. It's not so hard for me to to explain the virtue of it when it's well priced. And that's really all there is to it. So again, I call on you today to make sure you're taking the people, excuse me, make sure you're taking care of the people who are taking care of you. Because there are people out there looking out for your interest and making sure that they're uh, trying to give you good value. So take care of those folks. Please take care of those folks. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Following the alum, we did a rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today, as expected, with Seaforth Sea Ice Lime. And remember, I'm not sure this version is available right now, but be on the lookout. Maybe in a few months he'll make some more. I hope he does because it is spectacular. I absolutely loved it. I also absolutely loved, once again, using the Apollo Light Razor by Smart Helix. It is definitely one of the best razors that I have ever used, if not the best in terms of a double-edged razor. Smooth, fit and finish is good great efficiency it is just one of those all around great shavers really really good sadly probably not available now but i hope it will be again uh someday because it is a phenomenal razor and once again our hearts go out to the people of ukraine and their uh families just you know prayers to all of you folks all right we also use today the maritime brush co brush which is made by brendan over there great guy and it's in our lancaster raised works brush soaking mug and we shall finish it out today with, once again, the wet the face, the quiet man splash. We're getting towards the bottom of this bottle, slowly but surely. We will get there. We will get there because I'm using more every day. And we're just going to be off to the races and starting a great day. And I hope wherever you are today, you have an excellent day as well. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.